everybody, Michelle here with Creative Operation and I'm going to share with you today my tutorial that I did for Country Craft Creations for their design team. And this is my Ocean Blue 3-in-1 Folio. So I did a walkthrough of this already, so I think um, a lot of you have seen this already. But I'll just real quick run through this folio. So it's a trifold folio which is the one, the folio is the one. The three in one is that when you open it up, you have three different little mini folios inside of it. So we have one that I'm calling a fold out, one that's an accordion, and then one that is a wallet here. So um, that is the three in the, um, in the title. So um, again, I'm using Graphic 45's Ocean Blue. I love this collection. It is awesome. And it was, uh, of course, given to me by Country Craft Creations for the design team. And this is what I created with it. So we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to show you how to make this folio. Now, um, I will have a supply list in the um, descriptions on the kinds of cardstock that I used. So in this, you can see that the folio base is the denim cardstock. And then the actual folios themselves, or the little mini albums, I did in craft. And then I also used some ivory here for photo mats and whatnot. So um, again, um, I will give you a supply list in there. I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of open these up so you can see while I'm talking. Um, I will give you a supply list and a cut list for all of the pieces of the cardstock. I do not give a, a list for the pattern paper because you may want to decorate this different than I did. So I don't do that, but um, I will give you everything for the cardstock. There is no chipboard in this album at all. Um, it's all cardstock and uh, pattern paper. So this is the accordion here with a little belly band. Um, let's see, what else? I do have a um, cutting guide that is a visual that I will have on my blog and I will also have a um, link to that. Now I do know, I don't know why, but on Blogger, um, the last couple posts I've done, I've had some trouble with the pictures not showing up and it's been weird because um, sometimes I've seen them and sometimes they're gone and other people have um, said that they just weren't there. So I went back and I redid the pictures and they seem to have stuck so hopefully um, that was just a one-time problem I know that probably the internet is going crazy with all this um, you know extra time we have on our hands or you know some people have on their hands um, but uh, anyway so I will have that and I will have the link in the description as well so let's get started with this folio now I'm going to use white cardstock for the tutorial um, so hopefully it's easier to see and then um, yeah, I'll have a base that uh, I will go ahead and uh, be able to uh, play with and make another one. So there you go. So for the folio base piece, you're going to need three pieces of paper, and I'm calling them A, B, and C. So the first one um, you're going to need is seven by seven and a half. Now the album is seven inches tall, and the actual width of the album is five inches. Okay, and then the spine here is two and a half inches, and then this spine is one and a half inches, excuse me, um, which leaves a lot of room in between the pages for nice fluffy decoration like you saw with my flowers and things. Um, so, first piece, seven by seven and a half, folio A. Um, seven by nine is folio piece B. And then six and a half by seven is folio piece C. So then um, you're gonna take your scoreboard and I've already done some scoring, but we'll go through this real quick. Um, this is a super simple album um, to put together. So um, this this is a, uh, actually a pretty quick project. So I thought it would be really cute for all kinds of different projects. Um, just a, a number of things. So seven and, by seven and a half for folio A, and we're gonna score at five. And that's all you're gonna do. So that's going to give you the first five inches will be the actual um, cover of the album and then this is the two and a half inch spine piece we're going to overlap those um, to kind of create a stronger spine since we're just using cardstock folio piece b seven by nine and on the nine inch side we're going to score at two and a half and then we're going to score at seven and a half okay and then folio piece c is six and a half by seven, so your six and a half will be on the top here, and we're gonna score at one and a half. 
And then we'll go ahead and get rid of the scoreboard here real quick. And then fold and burnish. You do not miter corners on this. We want to keep these nice and straight because these are going to create the spine pieces for our folio. Okay. Now, um, again, in the folio that I made for the design team, I used artisan cardstock from Country Craft Creations. The seam binding that I used was also from Country Craft Creations. Um, so there you go. All right, so these pieces are gonna hook together just like they look. So they're gonna hook together just like this. Um, now, this is gonna end up being this first piece here with the two and a half inch here. That's gonna end up being my front cover. And then, so I'm gonna layer the second piece onto that like that. And then the third piece will be layered down like that. And that will create our folio. So let's go ahead and grab our art glitter glue. And this is also um, from Country Craft Creations. I probably should clean the tip here real quick because it is funky. Been getting a lot of use. So there we go. All right, let's try that, see if that works. There we go. Now I've got some glue. All right, so I'm just gonna put some glue on this two and a half inch spine piece. And then I'm going to take the other piece B in that two and a half inch uh, score there, and I'm just gonna lay that down right to the edge of that score line, match it up and glue it down. And that's gonna help create the big spine for the album and it's gonna reinforce it as well because of the extra cardstock. Turn it over and make sure that we're looking good and we are. Okay, so then I'm going to do the same thing with this one and a half inch piece. Put some glue here. And then we're going to take that one and a half inch piece from folio part C, and we're gonna lay that down. And don't get it in the score line. You want it just to the side of the score line so that you don't get it into the bend. So then you can see now when you fold it up, you're gonna end up with a piece that'll look like that, and that's what you want, okay? So that is the, the base of our uh, folio. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our belly bands. So inside the folio, and I will show you, so that's what's holding all of our little minis in are these nice belly bands, and they have a gusset of a quarter of an inch so that you have room to put your belly or your uh, mini album is in. Now, I want to explain something. So it is a little bit loose. And that's okay because what we're going to do is put pictures in here and that's going to bulk it up even more. So then that will be a nice, uh, more snug fit once you put your pictures in. So it will be a little bit loose. Don't worry about that. When you get your pictures in there, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fit really nice and snug and it's not going to fall out. So our belly bands, you need three of these and they each measure one and a half by eight and a half, excuse me, one and a half by eight and a half. And we're going to put them in our scoreboard, all three of them, and we're going to score them all the same way. So I put it in eight and a half inch um, at the top, and we're going to score at half, at three quarters, and then we're going to score at seven and three quarters and eight. All right, so half, three quarters, seven and three quarters, and eight. So then we're going to fold, and then that is going to give us our quarter inch gusset, our little tab to hook it onto the base of the book, and then here's our belly band. All right, so just do all three of those just like that. And then we're going to attach them to our base. And what I'm going to do is grab my centering ruler and put it down at the bottom. And with this centering ruler, um, the five inch panel here, which is the panel of our folio, they're all the same, um, the center, and then we'll line up the two and a half with the edge and the score. And then we're gonna grab our glue, we're gonna put it on the half inch part of the tab, like so. 
And then we're gonna carefully put this down right in the center, just like that. Be careful, do not get glue on that quarter inch fold. Okay, so we just folded that down. We'll put that down, make sure it's nice and stuck. Okay, then what we're gonna do in order to do this so that it works right is we're gonna fold that quarter inch gusset down and I'll turn this around so I can see it better. And you don't really need to measure on this one, you just need to lay it down. Now the quarter inch here on the part that's not attached will be sticking up and the half inch tab will be underneath. And that would, if when you lay it down, should give you perfect placement for the next piece. And then you just put the glue on there, lay it down again, and stick her down. Okay, and then you can just fold that quarter inch up again, and then boom, you have your belly band with your quarter inch gusset. Okay, so I'm going to do that with the next two, and I will um, be back when I am done. Okay, I'm back, and I have finished my belly bands here. Um, for the album so when you fold this up the way it goes this is the top view that's what it should look like so you'll have your three belly bands here and uh, then um, we're gonna add a pocket to this one so this is the front cover when you open it up we're gonna add a couple things here so I'm going to just lay this down and I'm gonna flatten that belly band so I can work with it um, for when we do this so we're gonna need a large pocket and then we're gonna make a small pocket that goes on top of there. So these are just gonna be layered onto this piece. So the large pocket here is seven and a half by six. And um, we're going to take this and we're gonna score it on three sides to make the pocket. And um, so when you put it in here, put it on the six and score it at one and at five and a half, and then you can turn it and score it at half on the seven and a half inch. Okay, so scoring it, scoring it on three sides to make the tall pocket. And then um, this one, we are gonna mire our corners. And then we're just going to basically put this on top of that page. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. Actually, I'm gonna get this out of the way for just a second. We'll work on the small pocket here in just a second. All right, so we'll fold and miter all of our score lines. Well, we already mitered. We're gonna fold and burnish our score lines like so. And then I'm gonna grab our book. Okay, so again, we want this inside piece. When you open the cover, we're gonna put it right here. So I wanna make sure this is how we want it and our pocket, how we want it and simply just put glue and lay it over the top. And that's all there is to making this pocket. So it adds just another little element to the book and looks pretty cute. Okay, so we'll just lay that down on the pocket right here or lay the pocket down on the page. All right. And then make sure it's stuck down nice. Okay. So now when we open the book, it doesn't look any different, but now we've got a nice big pocket. Now, I do have, I did, and this is in the cutting guide, um, a four and a half by seven inch piece that I cut and I just cut the corners and made it a tag that will go inside that pocket. And then what I ended up doing, and I'll show you this in the book, what I ended up doing, um, and I'll take the tags out, is that uh, I put the pattern paper on the pocket and then I punched a notch for a finger pull because the, the tag kind of fits pretty down in there. And then I tied a really pretty piece of seam binding to it um, to pull it out, okay? So that's how we did that. Now we're gonna add this really cute little pocket here. Now in my um, walkthrough, I talked about how I did this. 
or that I use the paper. So if you look at the paper in ocean blue, the, the way that the words are on this paper kind of inspired this pocket because they're all kind of done in a wavy kind of pattern and it's probably easier to see on the back. You see the waves here? I wanted to incorporate that into a pocket. So I'll show you how I did it and I did it and I made a pattern exactly how this piece works. So your, your piece will vary depending on which piece you choose from that paper if you if you do this but it was just kind of a fun thing because you can see that the pocket is curved and behind the flower you can see um, a little bit of how it was curved so um let's do that put this aside for just a second and then grab our pieces so this is for the small pocket and i cut a piece that was three and a half by six. Okay, so you're gonna have a pocket like this. Um, I knew that I kind of wanted the pocket to be no more than three inches tall, because um, when we uh, burnish and, and do that, then we fold the bottom. It's gonna be a three inch tall pocket, right? Okay, so I knew that that's as big as I wanted it. So then I cut the piece of paper out of it, and this, this is actually a copy of that um, piece. So then what I did was I'm going to glue this on to the pocket in between all those score lines. So I scored it at half an inch on each side. So I cut the pattern paper so that it was an eighth of an inch less wide um, than this inside piece. So when you subtract the half inch for the tabs for the pocket, then you're gonna end up with a five inch wide pocket, which is the size of the page, okay? The width of the page that we're gonna place it on. And then, so I cut this piece at uh, four and seven eighths wide, and then cut around the wording, okay? And then I laid it down, and then all I simply did was take my scissors and then just fussy cut around it to create the shape of the pocket. And I went clear through the tabs for the pocket so that essentially mitered my pocket for me and then I did like that and like that and then fold it down and then grab your base and I am not going to do this because I don't know if I'm going to use pink for this album or not but then you basically just put glue on here and glue it down over top of the large pocket that we just added and you have a pretty curved pocket that match that paper line. If you use a different paper line, you do not have to do this. You can leave the pocket at three and a half by um, six when you cut the piece out and just lay it and have a square pocket. That's fine. But that's how I did the curve of it. And I wanted to incorporate that um, and kind of highlight that paper. I just loved it the way the waves were. So um, that's how I did that. So um, there's that. Now what I'm going to do is... We're going to start working on our little minis. So we don't need this. We're going to need our fold-out pieces. So our fold-out pieces, where's the other piece? Doo -doo 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 -doo. What did I do with it? There it is. Found it. Okay, so you need a few things for this. So you're going to need a base for your fold-out, which is 6 by 4 you will need two pieces that are five and a half by four, and these are the sides, and then you'll need two pieces that are six by three and a half. So these are the fold out pieces. So the six by four is the base. We're not gonna score anything on that. We're going to score the sides and the um, top and bottom. So the sides here, uh, we're going to take these and we're gonna put them in our scoreboard and do a little bit of score. They're gonna have an eighth of an inch gusset. So we're gonna start scoring at three eighths and at one half on both of the pieces. At three eighths and one half. And that will give us an eighth inch gusset. These are going to be the sides and they will fold over the top of our fold out. And then we are going to need our other two pieces. So these two pieces are going to be the top and the bottom, and there's two of them. They measure six by three and a half. We're gonna put the six at the top, and we're going to score at a half, and that's it. These will not have a gusset. 
score it a half on the six inch side. Okay. Those are the side or the top and bottom. Okay. So then take this. This is super, super simple um, to create. We're going to miter our corners. Now on the top and the bottom, there's only one score line you have to worry about. So we're just going to miter to that score line. And then on the sides, however, we want to keep that eighth inch gusset intact. So we're only going to go and miter on the three on the three eighths inch piece and leave that eighth of an inch completely squared up. All right, so don't go through the eighth inch piece. Okay, so we got that done. And then this is super simple to put together for this folio. See, this is this is a really cute, quick, fast project. And um, I think this would be really cute to document, like if you did it with like this beach theme, okay? So three different beach trips. You could put one little trip in each of the books. Um, if you did like a brag book, you could, um, which is what I did when I did the prototype. I did, I had some um, grandma theme paper. And I thought that'd be perfect for grandkids, three different um, like get togethers or um, like for myself, I have three kids and I could put um, the grandkids from each of those kids in the book. Um, there's a lot of possibilities with this book. I just thought it was really, really cute. Um, if you went on a vacation, like I went on a vacation several years ago where we went to three totally different places, um, Disneyland. Yosemite and Vegas and you could put each book could be a separate vacation theme. So this this has a lot of Potential Okay, so top and bottom only has the one score um, and we scored it At a half an inch here and I'm gonna just put some glue and then I'm just gonna line it up at the bottom And I'm just gonna center it. It's going to be about a quarter of an inch on either side smaller than the base that we're putting it on. Okay, did that on purpose. And then so one on the top, one on the bottom. Easy peasy. And then this one, actually, let's do it like this. So I'm gonna just put that, fold that down, and then I'm gonna match that up. Since I eyeballed it, I'm just gonna make sure that it lines up with the top one so that it's not off any when I lay it down. Okay. All right, just like that. So then we'll open it up. Now the sides, we're only gonna put glue on the 3 8 inch piece. We're not gonna put glue on the eighth inch gusset. So, and again, I'm just gonna do an eyeball here. And I'm gonna do it this way so I can see it better. And it's also gonna have about a quarter of an inch on either side. And I'm just gonna lay that down and make sure that I don't glue the gusset. All right. And you can fold the gusset and then you can reinforce that score line like that. And then one more time. And these are gonna be on the, the outer sides of the folio. I did it again. I'm gonna lay that down, try and get it centered and even with the side I just put on. There we go. All right. Okay. So I glued them onto the like the inside of that little six, four by six you know folio base. So when you fold this up, it will go bottom, top, and then right side, left side, and then that's how it will look. You will have an eighth of an inch gusset, which will help accommodate pictures. I put pattern paper on the outside pieces, so here and then here, and then on the inside pieces, I have. And I'll get it out again. On the inside pieces, I put ivory cardstock for pictures, and then I used a piece of pattern paper in the middle 
and then stickers on the panels so you could put a nice picture here if you wanted to and since you use light color paper too you could also journal you could also lay pictures in here and just have them extra pictures just lay in loose and then the top and the bottom will hold them securely in your folio um, just remember uh, I did a closure with a seam binding and again underneath the pattern paper on the front and then on the back cover okay then decorate as you will so that's the folio piece number one or the the book number one now let's work on book number two that is super simple it's just a flat straight up accordion with a belly band so let's do that two pieces here for the accordion we have a six by twelve which is accordion a and then we have a six by eight and a half which is accordion b so we're going to put those in the scoreboard and we're going to score them the six by twelve we're going to score at four and at eight and then um, on the accordion piece b the six by eight and a half super simple just put it in there at eight and a half and score at four and at eight it's going to give you a half an inch tab to attach this to the next piece so you will miter the corner on this half inch tab on piece b so you should have a piece that looks like that and then um oops i'm going to take these off then we're going to fold that okay and then all i'm going to do is i'm going to attach it to my other piece of panel, which will give us five essential patterns. One, five panels. One, two, three, four, five. Can't talk. I think I'm trying to get this done quickly. My husband um, might be coming home from work early, and when he comes in, the dogs will go crazy. And I'm just trying to get done before you guys have to hear that. All right. There we go. So I'm just lining that up just to the edge of the score, gluing that down so that the panel is attached. And then pretty simple um, accordion fold, just like that, all done. Okay, accordion panel. All right, so you'll have five on each side to put some awesome pictures on. And then the closure for this is a belly band. So the belly band for the accordion is one and a half by 12. And this is super simple to make as well. So we're going to take our, take our 12 inch side against, you know, at the top. And we're gonna start at three and three quarters at four. And then we're going to go to eight and a quarter and eight and three eighths. So three and three quarters, four, eight and a quarter, eight and three eighths. And that's all there is to that. So then um, how I did this was we're going to fold all of our score lines. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is one of the, you're going to have um, a quarter inch gusset on each side. So one of them will be up. So there's a quarter inch here and then your four and an eighth inch panel. And then the other one's going to go to the inside. So you'll have essentially one quarter inch score on each side when you flip it over. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to glue this down. Now, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't glue, you know, past that tab. So what I did was I put some glue here where I know that paper is gonna lay down, and then I put some glue down here where I know that paper is gonna lay down. And then making sure that I keep my gussets right, and I'm just gonna lay that down. And then when you open it up, you will have a nice squared up belly band for your accordion. And that's all there is to that. So then, then all you need to do here is decorate. And um, I did this. If you put some dimensional things on your um, 
book, it's not a problem because the belly band will have a little bit of give. When you take it on and off, it will, you know, bend a little bit. So I did put pattern paper on the front and the back and then this cute little sticker backed with some cardstock. And then um, in the cutting guide, I talk about um, panel pieces for your accordion in the denim. And then on the other side, I used ivory. So that's what that's all about in the um, cutting guide. The pattern paper, again, um, if you want to put more plain cardstock panels or, or not, um, you can do that or you can use pattern paper like I did. So that is all there is to that for the accordion, but it gives you a place for essentially um, without the cover piece here, to, uh, nine pictures. So it works out pretty good. So there's my, that. And then when I did this, I put the, when I put the pattern paper on, um, I did that as the back side just because it had the seam. But you're gonna cover it with pattern paper. So, you know, people probably wouldn't notice it anyway. So then the third thing we're gonna do is our wallet. So now our wallet is um, a magnet closure wallet and it has the, the flap here. Now this piece was added on as decoration, so that is not in the cutting guide. So um, if you could imagine it without that, but I added it because I thought it was really pretty. It was a nice little decoration. And then you have your front piece, which I covered with pattern paper. And then every panel on the inside is uh, ivory cardstock for pictures. And then I have a pocket here and I put some cut aparts in there. So that's a nice little something. And then I used ivory in the back as well for um, a picture if you wanted to do that. And again, I tried to focus on the wavy things. I think what this reminds me of is being in Hawaii with being, you know, just on the inner tube, just kind of floating around in the water. And I don't know, maybe that's why I liked it so much. Um, but there's our wallet. And I just put some pattern paper on the back. So let's get started with that. And we are going to need just a couple things and um, then we're, we're actually almost done. So we have a wallet base, which is four by 12. And then we have three wallet pages that are, you need three of them at six and a half by four. So we're going to take our scoreboard again and the wallet base, we're gonna put it the 12 inch side up, um, super simple. And we're gonna score at Actually, we're gonna start the other way because for me, this'll be the top, this'll be the top flap, and then it'll have a quarter inch gusset at the top. Let me show you. So it'll have a quarter inch gusset at the top to help accommodate for more pictures, okay? So this'll be the top. So we're gonna start with a 12 inch on this side, and we're gonna start at two and three quarters, and then we're gonna score at three, and then we're gonna come down and we're gonna score at nine, and that is all we're gonna do. And then, so that's for the base. And then for the pages, you need three of them at six and a half by four. And each one of them, you're just gonna put the six and a half side up and then you're gonna score at half an inch. And that's all you're gonna do for all three of those pages. So now it's just a matter of putting it together to create the um, piece. So the wallet pages, we're going to Fold and miter the half inch tabs for all of them. And these pages will just be stacked on top of the pocket, which is actually formed with part of the base. So works out pretty slick. All right, then we're going to fold all of our pieces here. Be careful with your quarter inch gusset for the top. All right, so you have your quarter inch gusset here. That's gonna be the top flap. This piece is gonna fold up and become the pocket, but you cannot glue this down yet because you really need to put the pattern paper behind it first and then just glue it down because there are no tabs um, for this, okay? So what I did was I put everything together and I'll show you how I did that. And then when I went to decorating, that's when I put the ivory paper behind and then I glued my pocket down. Now, if you glue the pocket down first, it's not a big deal. You can just put pattern paper up to the pocket and then leave what's underneath the pocket open. 
um, without any pattern paper on it. You can do that. I didn't. I chose to go all the way down. Um, but um, if you're going to put paper behind it and you want it to go all the way down, do not glue that pocket down first. So I'm just going to leave that. So making sure that my top is up and this is my pocket and that's just simply going to fold up and then glue down when it's time. And then I'm just going to take my wallet pages and I'm going to put glue on the tabs. And then I'm just going to stack them on the bottom like so. Measuring or measuring, not measuring, making sure that I've got it straight. All right, and then that will flip down like that. So if you can imagine the pocket being closed, then this will, excuse me, flip up like that. All right, time for the next pocket. They're just going to stack on top of each other. Super simple pages to make. You're not going to obviously want to do a lot of um, embellishing unless you have stickers. You know, flat embellishing is what you're going to want uh, for this. All right. You could also, at this point, you could take like your favorite, um, you know, edge punching and you could punch the edges up here and, and do stuff with that if you wanted to. All kinds of possibilities with this depending on what you're making. So. All right. So then there's that. Now, um. All right, so we got three pages here. So this is our wallet. One, two, three pages. Here's our pocket, which will be right here, okay? And then when this folds up, it'll go down like that. And then all you need to do is put a magnet on before you um, go ahead and um, put pattern paper on. So we'll just write magnet here. And that'll help re me remember when I go back later. So magnet, magnet, that will close it. And then that's the closure for that. And then you can decorate to your heart's content on that. So that is my uh, tutorial for my Ocean Blue 3-in-1 um, folio. And let me get this stuff out of here. Let me get this back here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I really enjoyed making this um, album. I thought it was super fun to make. And... I, I really enjoyed it, and it just has so many possibilities. Like I said, I've already made, I made one as a prototype in um, grandma papers, and I'm totally going to use it for all my grandkids and stuff, but um, this lends itself to a lot of different um, options and a lot of different uh, fun things to do. Um, I, this is Graphic 45's Ocean Blue. This is available at Country Craft Creations, along with the denim craft and ivory card stock that I used. Um, the flowers were all mine from my stash. Uh, the shells that I used were all mine from my stash. Seam binding came from Country Craft Creations. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is a, this is a fun little album to do and I would love to see it. If you guys um, go ahead and make this, I would love to see uh, what you come up with. So head on over to Country Craft Creations, get your, get your um, paper, Ocean Blue by Graphic 45, and let's have some fun making an album. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.